hello collective welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for your likes your comments your shares and subscribes i truly appreciate them all i hope you guys are having a fantastic week so far we done made it to hump day okay let's see what you need to know what you need to be aware of so let's see okay Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, what is the message? Somebody could be depressed because there's a new beginning for you. All right, what's going on? Overall energy, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. Wow. Okay, somebody married. This could be about someone that is married or in a committed relationship. Or is this an emperor thinking about marriage or being in a relationship with somebody? They know. Intuitively, do somebody know that this was going to happen around the full moon with a past life soulmate? Because somebody tried to do a spell to keep somebody stuck and they were aware and they could be shocked. They divine feminine could have waited. Patience was needed. So somebody knows troubles is coming in. And that means somebody plans backfire because somebody's saying things your way. Moving forward, somebody going to feel like a dumbass. Because something is going to be over somebody doing too much. And because good times and happy beginnings is happening for you. Somebody know that this emperor wants a relationship with you, empress? Or somebody knows somebody want to marry you or something like that. Okay. And they're depressed about that because there's going to be good times, happy times, new beginnings and all of that. And a false person is in their thoughts. Somebody could be a Virgo or a Leo. <sighs> yeah. Because of love. Okay. Somebody's in their thoughts about because somebody loves someone. What's the higher thing, y'all? What's the higher thing? Expectations. Somebody, I'm telling you, somebody's expecting someone to marry you because they love you. They know this person loves you, or they know y'all love each other. They know y'all are a good match. What? Somebody is expecting this, expecting this emperor to be in a relationship with you now or commit to you. That's the expectation of someone. Patience was needed because somebody's been longing for you for this, for this moment, an emperor. Okay. And somebody know that this love is going to make somebody uh, become official, court official winning money. Great fortune, some yeah. So great fortune could be being taken away from an older gentleman. If the main, if this, if someone marries this main male, if y'all get married and fall in love, what? Somebody could be sick about this. What is happening? They've been trying to keep something private, or. This something is going to be like legit with this courtship. Somebody is worried about somebody like switching up on them or whatever this is. Oh my, what is this? <clears throat> Let's see, y'all. Does somebody worry that this masculine is like unstuck from idea or, um, yeah. Something like that. And this person is maybe seeing something from a higher perspective and they want more with you or something like this. And that's what somebody was worried about. This person becoming more responsible or um, something like that, y'all. <laughs> somebody could have wanted to trap them or somebody wasn't able to trap somebody, though. Oh, and look at the betrayal at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, we, we got some tea, y'all. Look. Somebody wasn't able to trap somebody. Maybe they was trying to trap a masculine. 
you know, maybe in like a get somebody pregnant or something. Oh, yeah, gold digger energy. That was a it's it was short lived, okay. Yeah, no, it wasn't there. Yeah, they don't know it's not the right time. Somebody know that. That they can't do that. Or they're not dealing with that person. Yeah, so they're not taking no weird risk or no bad gambles at this time. Okay. Somebody say, yeah, no. I'm not taking this risk. I'm not taking the gamble. Maybe to fuck something up or what? What's happening? Holy Spirit, divine spirit. Spying. Somebody got their eye on you, Earth sign. Yeah. Some somebody in the middle trying to sabotage this because things is about to get serious with this person and somebody else. Ah oh, shit. What is happening? Someone is in the middle trying to sabotage this because they know luck is on this person's side. They've been guided to uh, got getting guidance about a fire sign to put distance between them and somebody else or Whatever this is, somebody is finding out information. And maybe they've been guided by their spirit guides to put distance between themselves and someone else. Because they're opening their heart to somebody brand new or something like that. Um, and somebody is sad because they know that it's going to for everything. But where, whatever somebody this somebody about to go do, they marrying that person or something. Or that's what that emperor is going to want to do. Oh, see? See? It's about to get toxic, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> we got date night and a health issue could arise. <sighs> a health issue could arise because somebody is about to be winding down and they is stalking this earth sign. They could be changing residents, a narcissist, whoever this person is that's a gold digger is going to tell some, confess that they told somebody maybe... They going to tell somebody they going back to you or they coming back to somebody and they know they going to commit to somebody because shit going to get serious because somebody going to try to sabotage them. Somebody knows this. They've been giving it time. Yeah. When was the right time to tell somebody I, wanna, I don't want to be with them, but if they could be about to change residence. Yeah, so if there's no delays with a vacation and somebody doing a love spell, they need to let that shit go because somebody is moved on. You can keep doing them love spells, boo. They ain't coming back type of energy. <laughs> like, something like that going on, y'all. Oh, shit. I'm not going I'm not going to do it today. Y'all know what I was about to be like, Jerry, Jerry. Like, this shit be funny. <laughs> I love the. I'm gonna I'm gonna name certain a series of Jerry Springer readings because this is the energy <laughs> that you see on Jerry Springer or Maury and shit, child. Because why I'm saying that? Because the trap. This is how the card came out. Trap and it's in the reverse. So I'm thinking like so somebody tried to get some trap or do to get him get them to get them pregnant or some shit. <laughs> Yo, my masculine, shout out to the masculines in the chat right now. Like, shout out to you guys because this could be your story. <laughs> or, or you, my collective, the divine feminine in this energy here, you could be the one this person is coming towards for a long-term commitment and they want to put a ring on it, okay? Look, I don't know, but this thing like this about to be good, honey. Oh, yes. Yes, get y'all tea, y'all. Mm-hmm, get your snacks. We about to get it cracking up in here, y'all. Come on. Look, it's about to go down. Because I know you lying. <laughs> what y'all got going on in the community today? Uh, damn, and I say it's hump day Wednesday, huh? And look, look what's coming out. Oh, hell no. It's time for somebody to be brave. Oh, my God, y'all. Oh, my God. Because somebody watching this earth sign. You hear me? They know a health issue could arise. They're ready to be winding down. Oh, yeah. You inspiring somebody to be honest and be confident speaking a truth. All right. So whoever you are, divine feminines or cross white, whatever. Which one have whatever, whatever one? You could be the masculine. You could be the one like, yeah, whoever I'm dealing with, she inspired me to speak my truth. 
and stand in, stand on my on my you know what I mean. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let's go here. Yeah, they're going to be heartbroken. That's what I'm seeing. Because somebody about to be date night, wind and dine, living their best life. And they about to be, whoever spying on somebody about to be heartbroken by the earth sign, y'all. Y'all could be with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Somebody could be changing residence. They don't want to do it. They will, look, somebody like, like I'm, I'm moving out. Or they moving in with a partner or what's going on here? Somebody is heeding wise counsel now because this person is growing. So somebody's had an awakening. Somebody's actually growing and they don't want lesser. They know they worth. So somebody's getting casted out. They don't want to play this game with somebody. Okay. It's like, listen, I know my worth, sweetheart. I mean, it was fun, I, but I can't, you know, type of energy. So somebody like they, whoever you are or whoever... Divine Feminine is, they feel like you, listen, you top tier. You top tier, okay? <laughs> what is the message? Yeah, we got you miss someone. So, Shallow Grave. Wow. Look at this. Somebody know you're about to attract wonderful news here. We got Serpent's Path to Power. I'll show you who you can trust. The Power of Three knows you're attracting something right now. Yeah, because in a new world is being born. So somebody here be, like I said, going into a new paradigm, some sort of new shift here for someone. And somebody knows this. And there's growth on all ends, masculine and feminine energies. Okay. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, what is the message? You inspire somebody to speak their truth that they miss you. That they've been missing somebody. And they know, like, look, they was maybe this person been acting different around somebody. Maybe something could have happened around uh September 29th. They could have just straight up was like, yo. I, I'm going to be honest with you, like, oh, you still fuck with that bitch energy? Yes, I do. I miss, I miss her. I miss her for real. Yeah. And if I ever get a chance, I will be right on it. And I'm never going to play no games with her type of energy. <sighs> somebody might be saying that to somebody. Somebody could be a Virgo or a Virgo saying that to somebody. Take it as a resonate, y'all. But, oh, my God. But we got you miss someone. They miss whoever you are. You could be, it's, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's time to become a great leader in this magical cleaning space. So something is being cleared away or something, y'all. So you inspire someone to speak their truth and be confident with it. You miss someone. Shallow grave. Maybe this was something, I don't know, but it was time for somebody to become a great leader. So things end for new things to begin. We got this uh, eclipse energy here, okay? Somebody's being true to themselves. Wow, this may be shocking someone. Because it's like somebody could have finally found a clear solution to do something they thought. But this was attempt to offer at a high price. Somebody is too wise for this wisdom and we got invading someone's boundaries they don't give a fuck somebody is not letting fear stop them no you know yeah you may know and somebody know when somebody trying to manipulate them and you know you're protected so it's like even if you are the person like say you had a crazy ex collective that didn't want you to move on right and they was sending you all type of negative energy so that you stay stuck in an old way of paradigm or old way of thinking. You found the clear solution in order to be able to still move forward despite any naysaying maybe within your mind because you already know. Like if you put fear in front of uh, your actual expectation of a situation, you're going to infect the happiness or the joy you're not going to be you're going to be constantly be looking over your shoulder or overthinking something if you put fear in it or oh my god you know what if what if energy 
Oh, am I making the right decisions? So you guys could be really stopped. So you could have stopped second guessing yourself and just chose love instead of fear, basically. Somebody choosing love instead of fear. And that's why your life is about to be sweet or sweeter. Okay. You don't care because you know, somebody know, you could know somebody try to evade your space like, uh, or their space or this person know this person just was trying to make this person not want to be with you or doing spell breakup spells or somebody could be behind the scenes um, trying to like, stay, what, what is it? The mother spells they be doing to keep people apart and shit like that. But somebody like, no, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm going to say what I said. I'm going to stand on it. Something like that, y'all. Somebody saying something to somebody and they standing on business. Okay. All right. Like you could be, like I said, you could be this earth sign. You could be uh, the person that's standing on business and you don't give a fuck what you looking. Look, keep looking what you're looking at. Cause I'm, you, you going to break your own heart when you see me on this date. <laughs> You won't break your own heart when you see how I'm living. Like, you keep looking what you're looking at, okay? Child. <sighs> what y'all got going on? Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I'm going to pull some of these before I get to clarifying these, okay? It's very like one way or something about your aura. When your aura is unclear, the energy of your life stagnates to flow. So you have to clear your aura. Somebody could have cleared their energy, okay, of a betrayal. Somebody that betrays somebody or somebody feel betrayed because you cleansed your energy or you cut cords with them or some shit. Child. Somebody is strange. And somebody could have been, what is it, chasing rewards? Somebody could have been chasing somebody or was chasing you, collective. Somebody's being rewarded some sort of abundance for releasing fear. There's some abundance that comes with you releasing fear, collective. Okay. Yo, I'm not even going to lie. In my mind's eye, I had seen, like, this could have had something to do with, like, Kundalini sexual energy or something like that. All right? Uncontrollable passion between two people. You guys, whoever this is, you could have crazy fucking relations with. Okay? Um, And it's not just on that level. It's on, like, a soul level or something. I don't know what y'all got. Child... Child, child, passion. And this bottom of the deck say danger. <laughs> oh, shit. Uncontrollable passion shared between two people. And it's a danger. Somebody feels like it's there. there's danger because it will affect, uh, some, well, it will grow someone's abundance. If they commit to you, uh, yeah, because some sort of passion, committing to somebody's life purpose or something like that. Life is precious and cherish it. Prosperity, abundance. There's a new beginning. Because you be spreading positive influence about releasing control and taking the positive life steps. So it's like you could you could be telling people maybe like because of um anything you could be telling people to follow your passion. Uh this don't always got to be sex, but this is following your passion. You are going to be rewarded because you're walking how you talk and it kind of energy. All right. That's another thing I'm getting with that. So you are uh, telling other people and guiding people. Yeah, there it is. You inspiring people to go after their passion. All right. Okay. <laughs> and stand in their truth. All right. So you could be, you could either be a speaker or you, um, 
you just speak to your friends and your family members about this type of stuff. Okay? Co-workers. Yeah, you could be. And that's maybe that's why somebody's so passionate about your feminine power. All right? Because you know how to set boundaries. Okay? You set good boundaries. You don't. It's like follow your passion. All right? Stay loving, nurturing, and kind. The strength of a feminine, of feminine power often is overlooked. Notice how it can impact your life significantly. So somebody is noticing how you being passionate about your life and everything is really, it's like a spread and condition for a lot of people. People are liking how you move. But somebody can feel like if this person partner up with you, maybe this is somebody that wanted somebody to stay small. This person going to be like huge because all that love and nurturing energy that you want to give to this person is going to make them grow. And somebody is threatened by that. Okay. You, it's like the, it's not just threatened that this person will actually marry you. It's a more so of a threat in that, that they would grow. So it's not, it's not about you. It's about them. So it could be somebody, they don't want them to grow or something and they don't have nothing to do with it or something. But it's time for somebody to become a great leader. Like, these people need to stop. So all that magic is backfiring on them or something. Because his real divine feminine isn't doing what she's supposed to do. That's right. <laughs> like, we supposed, we here to nurture the men. We are. Like, we, we not here to tear them down, boo. Okay? Yeah. Oh, come on. Listen. We got peace and leader. You are a leader of peace. This is, it's like you lead with proper energy. I love this. And this was a faded, of, look, leader, this is, this is how whoever you are coming up. Why wouldn't this person marry you? Come on. Why wouldn't this person want to be with you? And all right, but, but we, we just having relations and you not encouraging me or not saying you have to encourage somebody, but it's about the people that you are around. You know what I'm saying? And this person could be very low vibrational. They don't want to be around that type of stuff. They don't, they got they real divine feminine here. Why would they want something else? Even on some like, oh, I'm be, we dealing with each other and you know, no, they don't want to deal with nobody else, but they divine feminine. Like, like what's wrong with that? And that's maturity. And that somebody never seen that about this person or didn't see this side of them. Well, baby, uh, then they say the saying is, you know, you, we bring out different sides of people, the people that you in a, encounter. And this person, like, I love this. So we got faith in God. All right. Loving and trusting him. While acknowledging your own doubts, divine feminine. And that's why God be like, you is, yes, that's why this is going in your favor. The will of fortune, the ups and downs of life remind you that circumstances can change unexpectedly. We got the leader of peace. Wow. You inspire with empathy, guide with wisdom, and empower others to reach their full potential with peace, love, compassion, and understanding. Do you understand me? This is why you are in this leadership position, whoever I'm, I'm connecting to. And this is why this man love you. That's why he's so passionate about you. Look at you. Why wouldn't he? That type of energy. It's like, is you crazy? Why wouldn't I? child and somebody is going to break their own freaking heart because listen life goes on you know and and you know somebody want to be with you divine feminine you are doing a really good job out here i don't know hmm You're doing a really good job Okay, there could be a third person here that could be seeing like y'all going to be like this. Natural love. This is beautiful. Nurture love. Communicate openly. Communicate. Cherish in each moment. Creating last and fulfilling bonds. So that's what somebody knows that you're about. To, okay, so that's the date night. Get ready to be wine and dine. Spending time with each other will create, you know, a, a awesome bond and stuff like that. 
I told y'all on another read, somebody said they wanted to spend time with you and stuff like that. Like, this could be happening, okay, in the near future, or this is happening now for you guys. Are you already with your person or something like that? And you found your inner strength, and this person is going to find theirs too. Dreams do come true type of energy, okay? And if this is like something that you guys really wanted it, wanted it, wanted it, this is why this is happening. But you just had to see something from a higher perspective. Maybe you had to um, see your own insecurities or something like that. Or uh, acknowledge something here. A pattern maybe within yourself that you needed to break. Both of you guys maybe equally so. Okay. But I just feel it's a bunch of growth here. Okay. It's like you getting your flowers. Okay. There's masculine energies that is talking about you in a very good way. Okay, whether this is somebody that you want to that want to deal with you, but or not, so this is like somebody is talking about somebody in a very good way. Okay, oh, see, spending the block, a sweet talker. <laughs> All right, what's happening here? We got moving. They gonna tell you they love you. You hear me? Somebody about to tell you. I, or they told somebody I love her, period. Or I love him. Take it as it is. Take it as it resonates. <laughs> All right. And somebody could be trying to take drugs to cope with that shit. A health issue could arise. This person taking drugs to cope because they losing sleep because this person love you. It's, it is what it is. Or maybe when this y'all was split up, this person could was losing sleep because they love you. We got, or this person moving. Look, moving. Who's moving? Yup, because they learned they fucking lesson. They learned their lesson. So that means wish granted. Somebody could be leaving somebody else. Somebody really could be changing residence or something. Because they learned the karmic lesson. So wish granted. Karmic lessons. About somebody that was shady. They getting karma. And that because somebody is fed up with somebody. Somebody was shady and they getting karma because somebody was fed up. It was shady. Karmic lesson about being shady. That's why somebody is no longer my way or the highway of health. Because maybe it was affecting somebody's health or something like that. Yeah, a psychopath was doing a lot of love spells. I can't, I'm not like trying to. And that's why somebody like, goodbye, I'm done. Like, go the fuck it. Oh, child. So somebody learned their karmic lesson about somebody being stubborn, okay? Or somebody was being stubborn or somebody was being shady and they don't want to go with, they don't want their way no more because um, they're not in their ego anymore, excuse me. Because somebody could be recovering mentally or something like that from a love spell that a psycho crazy ex that didn't want to let them go that was jealous and gossipy. Yeah, somebody left. Separation. And somebody could be under pressure. Because a trickster was no strings. And somebody could have been love bombing someone and got karma. All right. Somebody could be a sex addict or something like that. Or they both were or something. I don't know. Somebody just sprung out a different side of somebody. Y'all. They was doing a lot of love spells, sex magic or something like that on this person. Jesus. That's why somebody's moving. There's a love spell. Backstabs and betrayals. Karma. Yeah, so somebody is getting karma here. We got risky sex. Seeing the signs, okay? Somebody seeing the signs here. There's somebody in their feelings. So somebody is not, yeah, love spells. So somebody is not going to, I guess, do this love bombing shit no more. They're going to be a hundred with somebody. Mm-hmm. Date night. You ready to be winding down? What's date night, y'all? Left hanging. No closure. Wow. The police got involved? Because that... Oh, shit. So the police could get involved because somebody is going on a date and this psychopath crazy ex that's super jealous could be bumping heads with this person because this person like, I'm out. Goodbye. Okay, because they in love with you or something like that. Or somebody know this person want to be with you or whatever this is. It's like, go ahead. A health issue could arise. Oh, my God, y'all. A health issue could arise, though. Damn. 
wish because they didn't get their wish. Thug came out in the reverse, so somebody is not a thug, okay? <laughs> Health issue could arise because somebody is not gangster, okay? I don't know. Love, hate, energy, new boo energy. I don't know. Somebody is not getting what they want. Maybe somebody don't want somebody to have a new boo. They want somebody to hate their new boo or something like that. A health issue could arise because something is the in their wish didn't come true because it was a wish of somebody's. Maybe somebody wish came true. They got they reconciled with y'all. Somebody could be fucked up now. Damn. I don't know. And they're they're it's not a child. Look. Look. So this person know okay, a health issue could arise because this person know not to not to start no bullshit with y'all. Oh shit. What's the hell? love hate in the reverse? Cause the love hate is like not she not saying nothing or not gonna do nothing or something like that. She know not to come to your house or intervene or something like that. Cause she not about that life or something. <laughs> we got separation. She just a psycho or something. Yeah, this separation, somebody gonna get karma as soon as somebody separate from somebody. Child. Reflection. Blocked secret accounts. Oh my God. Somebody been praying, man. This is crazy. Separation. They done blocked this person from making secret accounts. And they've been praying here. Okay. Because somebody is in their feelings about something. Maybe they've been praying and meditating on something, y'all. Maybe praying that somebody brought, like, stay away from them because they done blocked all the accounts and... Oh, my God. Somebody really is dealing with somebody that's, like, an obsessed collective. Oh, shit. Oh, they could have kids with this person. Or they saying they pregnant type of energy. I'm pregnant. You can't leave me energy. Like, I don't know, y'all. Oh, my God. Like, this is real Jerry Springer shit. Mm-mm. What is spying? Who's spying? What they spying on? Because somebody living in the moment, spying. Somebody don't know, living in the moment. Wish. Oh, shit. Drama. Somebody got a reading done and found out that this was your twin flame. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. So somebody could have went and got a reading done. All right. And found because somebody had got a reading done and found out that yeah, this was your twin flame. Yeah. And they wanted to marry you. They So this is how somebody know that this person going to want to commit to you. Whoever this divine masculine is, is your twin flame. And whoever is getting readings done, know that this person about to have a fresh start. Because he's addicted to the queen rising. This energy, he's addicted to this queen bee. Sexual addiction to this queen bee energy. And that's why he's turning his back on her. Because he love you. And your spiritual gifts. And they're shattered. Because he ain't playing about you. Oh, my God. I feel so bad for her. But, no, I'm not taking up for her collective. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm just saying. It's just salt on her face. So, she thought either sex was going to keep him <laughs> or something like that. When it was like, bitch, I was just waiting for my divine feminine to, like, you know, See what we was going to do. Like, I wasn't, no, I'm out. And I'm not about to cheat on her. Is you stupid or dumb? Or I'm not about to have relations with you. And I'm having, like, we not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Even if this is like somebody that this person got kids with, you know how they go. Like when somebody you have kids with, they want to, you know, rub up on you. Like, nah, man, he going, no, we ain't doing none of that. Like somebody has made that clear set boundaries. And they like, 
giving this energy of this, oh, you changed. Like, so you could be very spiritual, spiritual. Of course you are. That all this that came out about you. That's why somebody's so passionate about you. It's like, you so smart. You so intelligent. You so, you give them the drive to be the best, best selves. She don't do that for him. It's it's like, yeah, the sex is amazing. But, but on top of that, you X, Y, and Z, you this too. Come on, man. Like, where else? Why would he want somebody else? And she's having a meltdown. A whole, maybe a breakdown. Why are they having a breakdown? They feel, oh my God. Why is somebody having this meltdown? Because they family over. And that mean they closing out a cycle of toxicity, doing drugs, having a toxic life. They going to say goodbye to this family unit. Because they closing out a cycle of a toxic lifestyle that causes them legal issues and all of that. And yo, either their family is fucked up about this. Like you just came in and changed this man's life. You hear me? And everybody feel like they about to be shut out. Because you ain't involved. You don't get down like that. You too structured. You too disciplined. You're a leader. You're a boss. Mentally, physically, emotionally, and everything else. Collective, male or female. Whoever this is resonating for. But I feel like it's a divine feminine I'm talking to. And this masculine, he's a divine masculine. And he... He know his worth. It's like, what you want him to do? And we we encourage men and women to do the same thing. Know your worth. Don't ever settle for less. And he want to grow. It's just like somebody that could be, whoever this is, y'all, uh, this person could be like the, the first millionaire of their generation or something like that when they come together with you. I feel like y'all going to do something in business or something. I don't know. But it's something that y'all going in this beat. It's something about the planet, though. It's like y'all twin flames. So y'all, it's something that y'all have to do here. And, and it's, it could be just simply affecting the world with love. Your love. That vibration of love with two twins together. Oh, my God. That is beautiful, y'all. Congratulations. Who the earth sign? Cause she's spying when the earth sign married. So this one, he want to get married and with a, wow, fake DNA. Somebody's not pregnant. That's not their baby. DNA test, fake news. He got a reading done. That's why he moving. Cause somebody not, that's not his baby. So he want to get married to you or cause that's, she not pregnant. What? Yeah, she, I, oh my God, he found out she tried to trap him. I can't make it up, dog. I can't. Because he really want to pop the question. This is crazy. And that's, because he's, that's their karma. He fed up. I know that's right. Divine Masculine is fed up and that's karma. So, uh, Divine Masculine want to pop the question. And somebody mad at they wingman. Damn, they wingman even tried to trap him. They the wingman trying to cope as well. <sighs> Cause maybe his friend like, yo, you want to hang out and get drunk and hang out, you know, with our coworker energy. Nah, I, I got such and such going on. It's because so and so this person been having an awakening, or this person had an awakening to you. Like, why they want anybody else but you? And they want you and they know that they twin flame was not happy and you were sitting there loving on yourself. And that's why they like, look, <laughs> look, and this person, I don't know how y'all coming together here, but this is their karma for this masculine. They get, this is good karma, I guess, playing out. Somebody had to get fed up in order for this karma to happen. Learn that lesson, life lesson, karmic lesson. Yeah, there it is. That's why those two came out together. I'm like, what? All right, and maybe they wingman is like, oh my God, this person about to go through their awakening or some sort of kundalini awakening or something, and this person about to be bossed up, and they all about to be looking at this person like, damn, they know that. 
This person is happily single, stress-free, setting goals, career focus. But with you, this is like maybe how it started. Okay, and how it's ending is married, popping the question in Divine Masculine. Y'all, because then y'all will be perfectly in sync, mirroring the same energy. So whatever this person is doing, whatever move this person is making is opening up doorways or something like that. You feel this Divine Masculine? I just love this energy for you guys. This is so beautiful. And this person is mad. She mad, y'all. Let's get more information. Because maybe he kicked it off with moving, okay? Maybe y'all about to move in together or y'all, this person moved out somebody's house or something. One of them. Really? This is wild. Twin flame is not somebody that's seductive and tempting. Hell no. He know his twin flame was not a thought. Okay. His twin flame is definitely <laughs> very divine. Somebody knows that. All right. So a health issue could arise for somebody though. I don't know why that's coming out. Maybe, maybe it got something to do with a broken heart or sadness or depression. Yeah, because this person is grown past thoughts. He's done with these type of women. Okay? He want a real woman or something. Spiritual growth. I go to them for my kinks. I'm telling you. It was only... Like, this is the type of chicks... Maybe this is the type of person they deal with women that... For they, they don't mind... What is it called? Um... Like, like two, three, four at a time type of energy. Or with some menage, menage trois and threesomes and whatever the fuck else. That wasn't getting somebody nowhere. They felt like, okay. So your twin flame is spiritually growing or they have grown spiritually. Okay, collective. <laughs> and he only went to them only when they wanted because... He want to tell you he love you. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, child. And there is no karmic claiming the territory no more. Okay. I know that's right. The mind masculine said, I'm coming clean with pure intentions. Okay, the mind masculine. I'm, I'm scared of you, boo. Do you? Where you at now? Where are you at now? None of your fucking business energy. Wow. Somebody getting cold on them, y'all. Where are you at now? That, oh, what that submissive energy ain't working. I don't know what submissive energy somebody do. And he don't care. Wow. So whatever somebody do, like, oh, I'll, I'll get you, I'll buy you, or you want to, whatever. I don't know. He don't care. I fuck your feelings. He don't feel the same way 